Hey everybody, welcome to Craving Shaving. Today we're going to be talking about razors, different types of razors that are used in traditional shaving, and what their benefits are, what their you know drawbacks are as well. And to start off, we're going to talk about straight razors. Now I don't have an actual straight razor um, that's just one solid piece of metal that you take your hair off with. What I do have is what's called a chevette style razor, and I just picked this up for a couple bucks at Sally's. Um, they do have a small men's section where they have shaving stuff um, at most other stores. So I picked this up. They take just half of a, a double-edged safety razor blade, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, you just put that in there. I don't know if you can see that little blade sticking up. And then you use it like you would use a straight razor and, you know, pull your skin tight and very, very gently drag the blade across your skin <laughs> um, at a very, very steep angle um, and it will slice through the hair and you'll get a great shave. Benefits of a straight razor is that you uh, get a really good shave with it. You get a really close shave with a straight razor. I mean, it's going right at your right at your hair and being able to cut it off really, really efficiently. Um, benefits of a Chevette style razor is you don't have to strop it. You don't have to sharpen it. You just throw a blade in there, shave with it till it's not as sharp as it should be, pitch it and get a new blade in there and shave with it. So um, drawbacks obviously are that you could cut yourself very badly with one of these. Um, I actually, you can see some red right here. That's what happened there. <laughs> this guy um, got me a little bit right there. So straight razors, very, very efficient. However, you can cut yourself with them pr fairly easy. Uh, the next type of razor that um, is commonly used in wet shaving is called a safety razor. And there are several different kinds. So I'll show you a few different kinds um, that I have and explain, again, the benefits and the drawbacks of, of a safety razor. Um, this is one that I got. This is actually a vintage Gillette from the 30s, I think 1934. Um, and this one, as you can see, um, any safety razor is going to have some kind of bar here or a comb um, to keep the blade from being able to go, you know, directly at your skin. And so the benefit of that is that you're not going to be able to cut yourself very badly. Um, also with the open comb here, that's for people generally who have very thick beards that, you know, they need to be hacking away at that. The hairs and the lather can go in between those little uh, combs and you get uh, better access to the hair. Um, this would be what would be called a, a little bit more aggressive tech. I mean, I guess you could say it's more aggressive of a razor and uh, it's because it can get to the hair a lot faster. Um, some people think they might be a little bit more harsh on your skin. Um, I haven't seen that myself. Um, then you also have things like this that have a solid bar across it. Um, and those are a little less aggressive, perhaps. In fact, this razor, this is also a Sally razor. Um, very, very mild razor for a beginner. Um, I definitely recommend this. I can put the link in the description below. Um, it's basically going to keep that blade from getting too much contact with your skin. So this is another style. And this one actually, I should have showed you with the other one, I'll go back, um, is what's called a butterfly or twist to open handle. You just twist the bottom, the top opens, you get your blade, um, which will generally come in a little packet that has, it's basically wax paper. The blades look like this, okay? And with this twist to open, you can just take it, drop it in, Tighten it up, and you're good to go. Okay. Um, let me show you as well with this old Gillette. There's another way to do it. Um, this is what's called a three piece razor because you have three pieces you have a top plate, a bottom plate, and of course, a handle. So if you uh, have your blade, Easiest way to do it, hold it on your hand, put the blade on top, 
sets the way it should. Um, then take the bottom plate, place it on top, and then take your razor and screw it on. Check to make sure that there's the same amount of blade on each side of the razor. That's very important. You get a bad shave that way, and then you're good to go. Um, another type of safety razor is like this guy. And this is from Maggard Razors. Again, I'll put the description in the link below. Um, but this is a slant bar safety razor. You can see that. I mean, it's quite slanted on this side. Um, that's to kind of put more torque on the blade, I believe, and um, should give you a more efficient shave. Again, much more aggressive as it's kind of slanted. I've heard different things that it's kind of like guillotine, you know, it's cutting at an angle, um, but that's another type of razor. Um, you also have a single edged safety razor. This one's not double edged like the others, just a single blade. Um, this one actually takes a blade that is made for a chevette, or chevette, however you want to say it. It's much different than the double edged blade. As you can see, it's much smaller. It's actually a lot thicker. I'm sure you can't see that in the video though. Um, but the same concept applies here. You toss that on here, put the base plate on like so, and then screw the handle on and you are in business. Um, <coughs> excuse me. One drawback to this one, when I first started using this razor, um, I was used to using a double edge razor and I kept turning it around to use the other side. Not very efficient on this side, very efficient on this side. Um, these blades are supposed to last a little bit longer because they are thicker. Um, they are a little bit more pricey, the blades for these ones. Um, last but not least, we have this guy, the cartridge razor. This one is, I haven't used this in a long time. Um, this is a Dollar Shave Club cartridge razor. I think they call it the executive. And it has a, a use. <laughs> um, a lot of people um, that head shave, they're bald, they shave their head, say this is a, a good way to go for head shaving. Um, there are other types of these as well. There's actually, um, well, of course, the different number of blades, blades on the back for shaping and stuff. Um, but yeah, just in general, I don't think you need five blades. Um, I think you can get by with less than that and you pay less for the ones with less blades, but they do have a place, just not on your face. Um, let's talk about what goes in the safety razors as well. Again, open it up, you place your blade in, you tighten it on, and then you have your safety razor. Um, with a blade in it. Now, not all safety razor blades or double edged blades are created, created equally. You have um, blades like the Derby blades that are very, very gentle on your skin. Um, they call that smooth. They're very smooth. Doesn't mean they're not sharp, but they're, they're a lot easier on your skin. They are very sharp. Now, they're not as sharp as some other blades. That's why they're easier on your skin, but they, I mean, you're still going to cut yourself if you mis mistreat these blades, right? Um, then there are other blades that are extremely sharp, like these feather blades. These are considered by pretty much everyone to be the sharpest blades out there for a safety razor. Um, very, very sharp, very unforgiving on your skin, but you will get a dang close shave with these guys. Um, as long as you don't cut yourself, you should be fine. And then of course there's middle of the road. These are these are the ones I landed on. Very very efficient, yet um, not quite as sharp as the feathers. I'm not as worried about cutting myself. These are the Gillette Seven O'clock um, Sharp Edge. They're in the yellow packet. There's lots of different um, Gillette blades, and so they distinguish them by different colors. So anyway, that is some information about different types of razors, different kinds of blades that you can put in the razors. There's lots of variety. I, that's one thing I love about this is there is a lot of variety. So hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about safety razors, um, straight razors, and the blades that you can put in them. And I hope that helps you in your shaves. Have a wonderful day, and um, I will be doing 
a few more videos on kind of the basics like this of wet shaving uh, for anyone who is looking to get into it and, and has any questions. If there's anything you want me to cover, put them in the comments below. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.